Hey guys, what's up? So today I'm showing you how to erase and change the background of um, basically any photos, guys. So basically, I make a photo, a PNG photo on your iPhone and iPad, guys. I'll be showing you two apps. Both of the links for the apps will be down in the description. So you guys can go check them out. And if you guys don't know what PNG is, I'm gonna explain this really quickly. So basically, PNG. I'm gonna show you an example of it too. But basically, PNG is that you have your photo, and then like without the background, you just have like the main image. And like you know, how you see thumbnails on YouTube with just like the person with no background. Then you basically do that. And also, guys, what's cool about these um, one of the apps I'm gonna show you out of the two, one just you like erases the background, and another one does both, erases the background and it, you change your background image. So like, let's say you have, let's say you want like you put, you know, I want to crop me out and I want to put me into like a different background. You can easily do that with this app. I'll be showing you guys everything about it, so you guys enjoy the video. All right, so now first we're gonna get to an example of a PNG. So this is actually me a couple months ago, guys. I I do go to the gym, but recently I've been really busy with work and YouTube and college. But this is me right here, guys. Uh, this is actually late of May. Um, so this is me, and I'm in the background. This is a regular photo. So I use the app, guys, and you can basically clear out the background. So I'm going to show you guys after what it looks like after I use the app. So, guys, this is what it looks like after I use the app. So you see that it's just me, and then the black background, it's not even black. It's actually nothing there. And you know it when you tap on the picture. It, now it's white, and now it's black. Those are PNGs. So I'm going to show you guys another one. So this right here is a PNG, you see? It's just the image itself. It's all black, and then just the image itself is there. The back is like there's no basic background. There's some PNG judges downloaded. All right, so the first app I'll be showing you is called Eraser, and this one, the both of these apps are free. The other one, which is called Pixelmatic, you have to you have to buy your um subscription if you want like the extra features. But it's a hundred dollars, guys. It's um kind of worth it. I have premium of it, but I don't know, it's your guys' choice. If you guys just want to do the basic of like you know cropping the picture out. Then you don't need to spend hundred. That's a lot of money, hundred dollars. But if you guys do like are really, really into that stuff, and you have a YouTube channel, and you're trying to get big, then I would definitely go for the um, you know, the premium, the hundred dollars, or you pay it by like monthly. But like if you pay hundred dollars, that's just the only payment. You have to pay. That's basically permanent. And then guys, I am not sponsored by any of these um two apps. These are just the apps I use. So first one is Eraser. I use this app, and I actually just found another one recently. So you basically go on top, choose an image. So let's say I want this image, just an image of me. You then tap on your adjust, you do the background crop. If you want like a certain, you know, you'll see you want like that, you just want like that, you do crop. But I'm just gonna tap on erase, and then basically your width down here, and you have like your little marker, which is the red um, on top, and you're basically erasing the background. So you see like the checkerboard in the background, that's basically like not gonna be there. So like what you actually have in the photo is actually like what's gonna show, not the background. So if it's like again too um, big, you just go to width and then push it down offset is basically how close or how far you want to see it so if i put it like where that dot is you can see it because if you put it too close you can't really see exactly what you're doing so the offset I like to be like around here so you just see what you're doing or like here and then like if you mess up you just press the back arrow so i would just do a lot of time like do it and when you stop and do it again press the back arrow because if you do like you know if you're doing too much or something like that and so i do all that and I mess up like this then it's going to redo all that so that's the first one guys and then you crop it and then basically when you're like, I'm just gonna do like a rough one right here, guys. All right, so let's just simply leave it like that. You press on done in the top right, and this is basically what it's gonna look like. So you tap on then top right, and you tap on if you want um, transparent white or JPG white or transparent the PNG. So when you want a transparent PNG, you can select the size you guys want it in. So I'm gonna do match, and you can tap on save, and tap on yes, and then it's going to um, want access to your photos. Tap on OK, and tap on OK, and then that will be in your gallery. So, guys, that's what it looks like. So, you tap on it, you see it's a PNG now. That's the only thing they're going to see is like my image. And if I did a better job, obviously that wouldn't be there on the side. But that's all they're going to see is like my um, only thing they're going to see is like my image. All right, guys, so the second app is called Picomatic. So, this is it says Pro, but it's free to download. And if you guys want to buy the um, you know, the premium, then you guys can do that. But like I said, it's not really a big deal. So, that's the one I just did that I showed you guys before. Tap on reset. So I'm gonna choose a photo. So let's say I wanna choose do my same photo for example. I'm gonna choose a picture of me. I see this, I think a different one. And basically you have this right here. Um, you have your plus, you do your transparent layer, image layer of change background. So what I'm gonna do guys is actually cut it. So cutting is basically the same thing as eraser, but I think it's a lot more easier. And like I I do prefer this app because you do like change the background and do so much more. So actually it's actually the opposite. So you actually are you um you're putting this over like what you want. So let's say I want like, you know, I want that. All right. 
I'm just gonna do my face like really quickly. All right, and then when you're done, type what you want, you press on Nets, right? And you can pass on Preview, and that's all you're gonna see. So, you know, let's say you want like you want a little more, you press on Fill, and you can do like my hair or something like that. If you want to like, you know, um, erase something, like you know, you made, let's say you made a mistake, you could like just try to trim it, like erase it. Let's say I want my hair, I can erase my hair, just like that. And you tap on Preview, and that's what you want. It's also a lot of other features, guys, like inverse and stuff like that. So, and also you tap on this to, for manual, you like zoom in if you want like do like really professionally. You guys can zoom in also on um, manual and automatic. And if you guys like like it, preview, you like it. And if you think of a mistake, you could go back with the back arrow. But let's say you preview, you like it, tap on apply. And that's going to bring this up. So this is what you guys want to do. You guys do need to download a, um, a PNG background, which is basically just like a blank background. So what you have to do is tap on a plus and you do on change background. And you guys want to find basically a, um, a background that's like transparent. So it's like, it's like a PNG background. All right, so we're going to tap on here, tap on change background, and then tap. And you see it right here, guys. It's like purple or something like that. This, and that's actually the one you want. Tap on it, and now it's no background. So now you can tap on top right, and then tap on save image. Go to gallery, and there it is, guys. So if you do want to change it to like a different background, you tap on applause, tap on change background. So you want to change it to like, you know, there's some apps I download. This background right here. You do that, and yes, you can like you know customize the f customize where you want to put it and stuff like that. So like it looks really, really cool. And so you like it like that. You tap on top right, tap on save image, tap on save. So there's so much more you do with this app. I'm just showing you basically the basics of it. And here it is in my photos in my gallery. So guys, basically brings a wrap to this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you all in the next one. If you have any com comments or questions, leave them down below. And yeah, guys. So peace out. Bye.